Hi guys and welcome back to my messy apartment. Now, as I promised, these guys, the dice set that I received a few days ago, are going to be unwrapped right in front of the camera, so stay tuned. Alright, this time I came prepared with my X-Acto knife, so let's give it a try. This is a declaration, I guess. Customs or something. Yeah, pretty much. Just gonna leave it aside. Let's see. Come on. All right. Oh, wow. They came with the uh, bags. Cool. And these ones came with the bags as well. Okay. Let's do the smaller one first. Got this little barcode here. Bags. They look all right. Nice. Nice. Let's see now. Alright, now just like the previous ones that I've got, these ones have this uh, glitter inside them as well, uh, like a seashell. But these ones look really fiery. If I'm gonna customize these guys, I really don't know what would I do with them. They, they look awesome. Orange and grey. Hmm. Really strange. <laughs> I wasn't expecting something like this, but I kind of like them. They have this uh, cool feel to them. Next. Oh, come on. Purple and gray. These ones look really nice. This white is really giving them cool look. I just might repaint the numbers in, in some different color and they would be awesome. Light blue or something, or maybe maybe even light red or something like that. I'll see it. Wow. <laughs> These are the coolest ones so far. Blue and orange. They look really, really cool. All of them have this glitter inside them. I'm surprised how cool they are. Oh my god, grey and blue with golden numbers, really, really nice. I like this as much as I like the previous ones, the light blue with the orange. Cool looking dice. Blue and violet, even though... Violet is really one of my favorite colors. I'm not so thrilled about these ones, but we'll see. There might be something magical about them yet. Let's see, what about these ones? To tell you the truth, from the picture, I didn't like them. But now that I'm holding them in my hand, they look really cool. Like um, maybe poison goo or something like that. Or maybe with a little bit of sanding, they, they might look like uh, moss or something. Nice. I like these ones, I really do. All right, these ones, they're really similar to the previous black and green ones. It's just, uh, these ones are darker. The green is darker than the, than the other one. And there is much less green in here. And there is much more contrast between the green and black. Yeah, I'll see about these ones. These ones... This red here is um, not so red. <laughs> it looks like, um, I don't know, just two paints mixed together. Even though they have a cool feel about them. All right. Let's see. There might be just something that I could do about these ones. Wow. These look nice. Black and blue with golden numbers. Just some different type of numbers might be nice, but um, they really look cool like this. Different type of numbers, I meant different color. I really like this blue and I like how it contrasts with the black. Awesome. Awesome indeed. And these ones... Alright, uh, these ones are just asking for it. <laughs> with a little bit of sanding, they're gonna look like rocks, like pebbles. Just like the grey ones that I customized. They're gonna look really, really cool once they do that. And I'm just thinking of repainting the numbers in different shade of white, like uh, ivory or something like that. I'll see yet, but they look really nice. I really like them. All right, let's just do a quick review of the D20s. Let's begin with this one. 
This one, I like it. As I said already, I didn't like them all that much when I saw the picture, but uh, now they look really cool. With some sanding, they might look like a moss or something. Or without sanding, just painting the numbers in a very dark green or something like that, they might look like, I don't know, a toxic goo or a poison or something like that. This one, oh well. This one is one of my favorite ones. I don't even know what would I do with these if I had them customized. Because they look really, really nice like this. I just might repaint the numbers, maybe give them a silver or golden look. I don't know. Nonetheless, really cool. This one, well, you already know, these ones are one of my favorites. I already have in my mind what would I do with them. Because it really looks like a rock already with sediments of uh, iron and... This looks like uh, rust, actually. Looks like uh, rusty metal. One of my favorites, definitely. This one, yeah, it's gray and blue. It looks okay. Looks kind of nice, but I have no idea what to do with these ones. Let's wait and see. I just might get an idea. If you have an idea, just leave a comment below. I would be grateful. This one, as I said, they really look like the previous ones that I've got, but just with more contrast between black and green. I'm thinking I don't want to do <laughs> the same thing twice. And the other ones, as I said, I'm going to make assassin's dice or something like that. Paint the numbers red like blood and leave the green glossy to be like poison and sand the black to be like, I don't know, a stealthy clothing or something. But this one, I might get a different idea about it. So we'll see. Blue and black are really one of my favorites. And I don't know what to do with these. They look awesome as they are. I don't know, I just might paint the 20, some different color. Adore them. Violet and gray. I don't know what to tell you about these ones. Looking good with some different numbers. They might look even better, but I still have no clue what would I do with them. It remains to be seen. <laughs> Orange and gray. <laughs> Yeah, this is the craziest one ever. I like them. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. The white numbers just... No, no, they're just... No. <laughs> they don't fit. We'll see. Violet and purple. I didn't like these ones all that much when I saw them first, but now I'm thinking this D20 looks nice. Even though I'm not so thrilled about the rest of them. I don't know what they remind me of. Do you have some purple monster in mind, maybe for many of uh, the tabletop role-playing games? I would like to know that. Leave me a comment down below. Now these two, <laughs> they look almost the same. It's just that this one doesn't have all that much glitter inside it. They look like um, blood spilled on the fresh asphalt <laughs> or something like that. I'm not so sure. This one, on the other hand, this thing is wicked. Fiery, bloody... Glossy, pearly, looks awesome. Awesome indeed. Don't have any ideas what to do with these ones. We'll see. All right, guys, I'm sorry about my voice. Uh, my throat is a bit sore these days, so I hope you didn't mind. And I hope you liked the dice. In that case, just leave a thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you're new to this channel. I would appreciate if you would leave a comment down below and tell me what do you think about the dice? Uh, do any particular sets remind you of something, some monster or an encounter or something like that, or a character that you've played. And if you have any idea on what should I do with them, how should I paint them or something, don't hesitate to tell me. Thanks for watching and until the next time, take care.